Welcome to Uncle Joe's Garage. Hey guys, welcome to Uncle Joe's. We appreciate you checking this video out. In this video, we're gonna be building a go-kart from scratch. So to start out, you'll see I designed our go-kart in CAD. Then we bought a 3D printer, printed out our little model so we could make sure we're happy with the design. Then we bought all the materials, we pieced it together, and we just about have a rolling frame at this point. We're excited, come on the journey with us. Man, we got a package. <laughs> Didn't exactly Definitely gonna add you laughing to there. That was great. Fast metals. <laughs> what do we got? Um, this is all of the steel that it's gonna take to build the frame for the go-kart. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wet. Check it out. Check it out. Beautiful. So this, this is an entire model of our go-kart. Obviously without the steering language and steering wheel and all that stuff. This, this is just the frame. This is printed from our 3D printer. You can see it's all printed to scale. Rectangular tubing, which is exactly what we've ordered here. So these long pieces are about four foot long. So we ordered four foot pre-cut sections of steel tubing. This is all 14 gauge. Then we ordered a couple of sections, three foot long. These go in a couple different spots. This is about a foot and a half on the back side of our frame. So we figured we cut those pieces in half, put them here and here. There's another couple other fill-in pieces that are about a foot and a half long. Then we've got four two foot pieces. And then we stepped it down to one by one for some of these smaller pieces, the bracings for the frame, the holder for the steering wheel. We're thinking we may have a redesign there. Let's see how that works out. These are all little infill pieces, all 14 gauge. All right, let's build a go-kart. One little tip, trick, whenever you're using a uh, miter saw, always close your eyes. All right, so I'm still here working at the shop. Uh, Justin abandoned me for the night. Uh, his wife, well, she's in charge. Uh, so here's the deal. I got our mitered corners cut. Uh, I grinded off the coating on the steel down to pure steel and we're ready to go. So late last night I finished tacking up the frame uh, and I'm walking back there right now so we can go take a look at it and this morning I'm going to work on building some brackets for the uh, front wheels, tires, axle, spindle so let's check it out. So you can see here's the tacked up frame right next to the wooden frame that I built for size comparison. Now I'm working on a piece that will 
attach right to the frame, the front kind of side of the frame, so you can see it somewhere in here. So that the front cafter can attach directly to the frame, because this go-kart doesn't have any suspension. It's an on-road go-kart. So I'm in CAD right now designing a piece so I can figure out my angles. So here's my CAD program. This is Shaper 3D. And this might look a little bit hectic right now, but it's because I'm doing a bunch of math here. So when I start trimming up some of these lines, you'll be able to start to see the shape of what we're building. And then here in just a sec, we make it 3D. This is the idea of what we're trying to build here. The frame would run kind of right along here. And then the caster will attach right here. Front wheels will go here. Little progress up update. I forgot to show you guys me actually bending it, but it's a pretty simple deal. Once you make those cuts, man, bend it right up. I'll, I'm gonna make this last cut here, and then I'm gonna cut the end piece off and then uh, we'll be ready to tack it all in place and tack it to the frame. So here's our little piece. It's already bent a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it together and then I'll show you an update. So my pieces did not, my angles did not work out at all as I expected. So kind of back to the drawing board. So ultimately I decided to just really, really simplify this piece down and uh, essentially it just acts as a spacer because uh, if the caster gets bolted directly to the frame, whenever your tires turn, they hit the frame uh, and you don't really need a whole lot of space. You need just enough that holds your tire far enough off the frame where you can actually get some, some turn radius out of it. I wasn't looking at the screen, so hopefully you guys caught all that. So now I'm just gonna tack a couple of these pieces up so this piece stays rigid and doesn't move. And then we'll get ready to tack it onto our frame. So I'm an idiot. I got distracted and I, uh, I welded the wrong side first. All right, we're back in the shop. We back. We're back, we're back. So, in the meantime, we've started, we created our frame. From there, we threw in a floor pan. We kind of fabbed up these front knuckles for all of our front spindles to attach to. Um, we drilled holes and created a spot for our pillow block bearings to attach. This is a one inch rear solid axle. Uh, so the brake and the drive sprocket will both be on this solid rear axle. Uh, we've got hubs that are ready. We're just waiting to
to attach the sprocket till we get the motor and that drive sprocket all figured out. This brake looks serious. Dude, this it's brake gonna, is it's serious. It's going to stop something. We, we fabbed up these brake mounts to attach our caliper here. Then we have a small master cylinder that will attach further up north. And, uh, yeah, it's coming together. All right, talk to us about the uh, the front steering linkage and stuff you got going on up here. So we ordered this. This is called a U-Weld system. It's a full spindle assembly that's supposed to be universal. Uh, you can weld it in place. Uh, don't get too close to my welds. They don't look good. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, you can weld it in place basically wherever you need to uh, in order to make all of your linkage figured out or fi work out. So we have our steering linkage here. And we already kind of did a trial test it's just hot right now but basically this it didn't come with any mounting brackets and it wouldn't matter if it did because they most likely wouldn't work uh, so we kind of fabbed up our own little mounting bracket basically this sits in here and then these u-bolts go right around our little black housing and right into those holes and then on the bottom side of those holes we have some nuts and then we'll get some lock washers as well make sure that that's pulled down snug kind of like that uh, and then obviously the steering linkage will tie in to both sides and uh, she'll be turning come here and show us what you're doing on the floor pans because this is really sick got to your initials there or I maybe just, they're not maybe it's something else Don't no know that yeah is. this is this is my initials I thought it would be cool to uh, kind of cut this in when people are back here working on the brakes or looking from the motor down, they might just barely catch a glimpse of it. Or whenever I roll this thing into a ditch, uh, you'll be able to find out who made this so you know who to sue. Hey, hopefully not. <laughs> no cease and desist letters here. <laughs> and then this is the front floor kinda, pan? Kind of the middle floor pan. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be like right in front of the seat. So we'll have our brake pedal kind of right in, up here where my hand's at in front of it and the gas pedal off to the side. And you've got drift and uh, no drift. Drift? What do you mean drift? I love it. Well, this is all looking really I tell you what, sick. We could not do it without this fixture table. Having a fixture table like this with holes on two inch centers and clamps that you can clamp it down from anywhere. Uh, it's helped so much keeping our frame square, um, holding things down while you're fabricating. Um, it's, it's really been awesome. And uh, we are not sponsored by them, but uh, Noble, if you want to get them to give us a shout out. If uh, Langmeyer could... Systems feels like sponsoring this video, then we'll do a full video about this table and how awesome it is. But in the meantime, Langmeyer Systems, not giving you a shout out. This is me not giving you a shout out. No shout out for you. So next, I really need to flip this whole thing over. That way I can put our next floor pan in, which has already been cut out by our handy dandy uh, CNC machine. Not another shout out to Langmar Systems. And then I'll put our bracing in, kind of right in this area. And then our steering kind of rack, I guess you could call it, where our steering linkage is all gonna line up to and my steering wheel will sit, is gonna be up in this area. But I kinda need a, a place to go so I know what to measure to. So that's our next step. So once you flip it over, what are you gonna what are you gonna be doing immediately? Um, first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this plate on the bottom side of it, and then I'll I'll stitch weld that plate in place all the way around the outside, and then I'll go ahead and hit all these welds that I need to hit from the bottom, just to make sure that these other pieces that I've put in place are completely solid, um, and then I'll be able to flip it back over and start working on our steering rack and kind of the assembly in that area.
All right, Noble, give us an update. It has been a minute. What's going on sure. with the go-kart? So today we have one more floor panel to make, which is this last little floor pan. Uh, I'm about to cut it out with the CNC machine, and then we'll flip this bad boy over and uh, check our steering out and make sure everything still lines up good. And uh, then we're going to get wheels and tires next week, and we'll be rolling. So the last floor pan is done. The front floor plate is complete and finished and welded in place. So we're gonna flip this bad boy over, show you guys the steering linkage that it all ties together and works, and uh, then come back for part two and we'll have a rolling frame. We're back! So, so we back. So basically, <clears throat> this is the steering linkage. It just pushes right on here. It's splined. <clears throat> and look at that. You can see the front spindles and all turning. All right, guys. Wheels and tires coming in next week. Part two coming soon. Peace.